we go into our separate chambers, our dimensions, dojos, or whatever you want to call it. These sanctuaries are safe havens. But what does it truly mean to practice? And every day in practice was like that to me. It was a competition. So when the game comes, it's nothing that I haven't already practiced. It's a routine. You know, whatever happens in the game now, okay, I've done this before. The definition of training is essentially teaching or developing in oneself or others any skills and knowledge or fitness that relate to specific useful competencies. It's about pushing your boundaries, learning from your mistakes, and gradually getting better at what you do in the grand scheme of things. In sports, training might involve physical exercises, drills, and strategies to improve your performance. In the fighting game community, training can mean practicing combos, learning character matchups, and refining your reactions. I didn't forget frame data. There is an interesting concept I have to bring up when it comes to frame data. George St. Pierre breaks down his secret tech he's learned to use during his time in the Octagon. You know, some people have secret weapons, secret knowledge. Knowledge is a, mm -hmm. is a, is a weapon. I had a guy when I was uh, training, when I was champion uh, during my wel welterweight run, I had a guy in Montreal that was measuring frames. Nobody knows that. He was watching fight and he was making a frame with image. So when someone threw a punch, click, 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 click. And by doing that, he was able to know who has better reaction times than other. After I met that guy, that he's not a scientist, he's a guy that does that for fun. And he showed me what, what, what he did. And I thought it was just incredible. It was like a secret weapon, secret knowledge that nobody knows. He told me BJ Penn has the fastest reaction time of all the UFC roster that he couldn't measure. And the way he did it is when you throw a punch or a kick, how much frame it takes him to re react to that uh, body st stimu stimuli. Mm -hmm. stimula. This man is talking about frame data on actual real life opponents. <laughs> It can't get any better than this, man. I, I, I tell you. Not only is GSP breaking down frame data, he is even breaking down the process of someone's jab startup to their recovery after throwing out that jab. It's quite fascinating how all of this can be looked at through the lens of a fighting game player and fully understand what GSP is breaking down. The science behind fighting is beautiful that way. Another great example would be John Jones, who would judge his opponent's movements, the length of their strikes, and their footwork. So think of it, he is judging your movements in neutral to whiff punishing, and the hitboxes of your jabs. So we are not so different with how the way we go about our training methods. Nothing is impossible. Nothing you keep training. At the end of the day, training to sum it all up, it's not just about practicing something over and over again. Practice with meaning behind it, with purpose, something that you can strive to goal-wise and everything, especially just improving on your strategies, your endurance on top of that. So don't ever get discouraged when it comes to trying to figure out how to go about practicing more than anything, or even, yeah, just training in general. Never get discouraged with that. I even struggle that myself with someone that suffers real bad from ADHD. I have to always have something going on in the background anytime that I am playing a game, practicing, or even editing on top of that. I have to have a billion things going on at once. I... I it's hard to explain. It's just what helps me focus a lot of the times and really just get things done. So it's going to be more about the journey on top of your training than the destination I personal, personally feel. So I hope this helps someone out there more importantly. 
even if it's just one or two people, just like the video last time. If you enjoy these little talks that I do have more than anything, please let me know down below. I would definitely turn this into something down the road. Uh, this seems like many people from the last video enjoyed those talks, so maybe I'll end up uh, doing something with that. So if there's any other topics you would love for me to sit there and cover or just even just talk about, in length on my own, just like uh, this video and a previous video, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe if you enjoyed today's video more importantly, and hit that notification bell so you stay updated on any new content coming to the channel. And just support too as well the, the second channel that I do have too on Variety Gaming and different stuff like that. I did do a video recently on Elden Ring Seamless Co-op, so if that's something up your alley, please click on that too as well. But, I'll be seeing you guys very soon, and you will be seeing a fighter style video around that time, so. I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe, more importantly. Peace. Yeah.